What is up guys, Double Rhino back here with a new Apex Legends Jack Pacific action figure review of Pathfinder the Crash Test variant that comes with a P2020 and his heirloom boxing gloves and a display stand. I'm holding the package right now because this is kind of a damaged box a little bit so it's unbalanced and it'll fall over. Maybe not right now. Okay, it didn't, didn't want to do that at the beginning of the video and now it will during the video. But anywho, this is Pathfinder, the crash test skin variant. Of course, there is his name on the side, and then you get a little bio on the back. His real name is Marv. 25 points of articulation. We have the Pathfinder Mirage and Bloodhound, the young blood variant for this wave. Um, we can also see his age. He really wants to know too, and his homeland. He's trying to figure that out. So this is really cool, and we got Pathfinder on the side there of his just regular blue variant, or his blue original skin. But guys, without further ado, let's crack this guy open. And here he is, Marv out of the packaging, and this is really cool. So if you watched the original video of I did of the original uh, Pathfinder, he did not have a display stand, so it was super hard to have him stand up because he has itty bitty tiny feet and itty bitty tiny legs for a top heavy body. So this is really cool. Um, one of my favorite things about Pathfinder is how in the inside he has the I'm dead face or the alert phase that he has on there. See, there you go, turn him to this side, it's alert. Turn this side, it's the uh, kill death emoji face that he has on his chest piece. Um, so this is the crash test uh, skin variant of Pathfinder. Um, nothing really too crazy about him. He's kind of just a creamy white color that we got going on. The one thing I noticed when I did open out of the packaging, as you can tell here, some of the paint that they used over him is pretty much gone off the back. So you got in there and then some right in there in that spot. So it's just kind of a gray. I guess he crashed all the way to the manufacturing because that area did not get sprayed. And a little bit in there, right there in his grappling hook, kind of just lost a little bit of color as well. So he crash landed all the way and tested it today on this video. Let's see if he passes the expectations of this test or else he's going to be crashing it outside to the dumpster. I'm just kidding. I'll still have him in my collection. Um, so pretty much he just comes, uh, like I said, a tan white cream color, a little bit of yellow to accent his cords that he has throughout, and some black. Nothing else really too crazy, a little bit of hint of red on the back, and a little bit of red on the bottom of the legs there that we got for the springs. Um, the eyes, pretty good. I just still love this, so it's a huge pan of Fath Pinder. Pathfinder, oh my gosh, I can't even say his name. Pathfinder, still a huge fan of him. I use him a lot in the games. Uh, but um, Bangalore is always my main. Uh, Pathfinder is my second one I use a lot of. So this is why I got the second one of him, even though I already have one of him already. Boom, more to add to the collection. 25 points of articulation. Let's see if it's there, guys. All right, head. No, that can't move up, so... Can move side to side a little bit, nothing too crazy. This arm cannot go all the way 360 because of the grappling hook, but this arm can go 360 on its own. Does have the bicep swivel. Arms can go out this far, down this far, unlike Bloodhound. Single jointed elbow though, unfortunately, and the wrist do go 360, but not side to side or up and down. He does have a ab crunch that can have him swivel back and forth nothing too crazy because of that little pipe cord that we got there going all the way to the back um his legs can go out this far and of course can go back this far he does have boom uh double jointed knee bones there and of course a little ankle that can only go out this far and up this far and then a little toe pivot there that we got going on so all in all, the Pathfinder, this one is not too bad as the original. I know they're slowly kind of making them better as they come out. This is like the second wave that they released. 
But besides that, another thing I got him is because he does come with his heirlooms, the KO knockout gloves. Really cool. Honestly, I dig that. Um, so they're really rubbery, really cool. Um, of course, he can put them on. So we'll test that here in a second. He does come with two of them. But he does come with just the regular P2020. So that's really nice there too. And we're just going to go ahead and tuck the P2020 back in here like so. I usually just tend to holster them in the back of their butts. But all right, let's 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 try these knockout gloves because this is how he's going to be posing most of the time. All right, let's... Oh, hello. See, it already started to fold that thumb and break it off almost. So let's see. Let's put this in here first like so. Boom. Got one in. Oh, there goes the P2020. All right, now for the next one, guys. This is, this is some tough stuff we got going on here, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want to break it on camera, don't I? And I'll see y'all see the real reason. All right, second one. And the second one's kind of... All right, cool. There he is. And let's put him back in the peg here if I can real quick. Because now he's more top heavy because of putting the knockout gloves on him. Come on now. Get in there. Get in there. Do not fight with me. I don't know why you want to fight with me. All right. And there he is. Pathfinder with his knockout gloves. That is actually kind of cool. I'm just going to leave him like that with his knockout gloves on. Um, really dig that. Like I said, you know, some of these figures aren't really the wildest ones to have in an action figure collection. But if you're a gamer and you like to collect memorabilia representing the game you love, then definitely go for it. Um, like I said, a huge fan of Apex Legends. And I wanted the heirloom knockout gloves. And they delivered. So that's really cool. Uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you on Apex Legends. But this has been Double Rhino. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Thank you.